Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have too many pens inked. That's all I'm gonna say. I think I have like 15 pens currently inked. This is so not me. I do not do that. Oh shoot, something's leaking on my desk. Please hold. Okay, sorry about that. I brought some water in here uh, to clean out some nibs and yeah, something had a leak. Anyway, so I've been very behind on journaling because it, one of my previous videos I explained, I was sick for a while, no big deal, but I didn't do much journaling during that time. So everything I had inked up in February, well, this one stays permanently inked. You've probably heard me talk about this a thousand times, never want to hear it again. This is uh, Twisby Eco Rose Gold. And it's uh, Robert Oster Blood Rose ink. And I just love the combination. It's medium nib that's permanently inked up in there. And no, I have never had a problem with it clogging, ever. I think it's been like that for probably three years now. And yeah, just never had an issue. I could put this pen down for months, come back. Still works like a charm. We'll test it in a minute. Uh, this is Coveco Burgundy Sport, and I have this filled with, wait, I have to go back and look, uh, Colorverse Red Rock, which turned out to not really be a very good Valentine color. It's very earthy and, um, yeah, just was not very Valentine-ish, but, you know, either way. It was another red I just wanted to play with. And this is my Platinum 3776. And this is um, filled with Monteverdi's Valentine Red, which I think is probably the perfect um, Valentine Red, as the name states. So uh, this is my Hurlstone pouch. So this is what I had inked for February. And these are probably going to stay um, loaded with these colors because, like I said, I really didn't have a lot of chance to write with them, so I'll have to get back to that um, another time. Uh, oh, I will show you the swatches that I have for February. This is the uh, Sweet Freckle Designs Weekly Planner. Sorry. Um... So I'm using this as a sort of ink log. I started it in February. So those were the three colors that I chose for Febru February. Um, so you can see the shimmer on the, uh, the this is Tabowie River paper in here. So you can see it shows up beautifully, all of the inks. And the second half of February, I started doing a uh, Bible study. Uh, it's for Lent, and the color of Lent is purple. So I went with um, purple inks, and these are the four that I chose. And these are in my hand-stitched leather tee pen roll. So I have... Uh, I have I have two Twisby Smoke Rose Golds because when I bought the second one, I meant to buy it in a different nib and I didn't. Uh, this one, one I bought in a 1.1, I wanted to buy the second one in a broad, didn't. And by the time I realized the mistake, it was just because um, I didn't use it right away. It was too late to return it. I didn't bother to exchange it. I like the 1.1 anyway, so I just kept it. So now I have two of them. So I have this one is loaded with Sailor Manyo Neko Yanagi, uh, which is a very, very light, dusty purple. Um, the thing is, I think Sailor inks write very dry, and I've been struggling writing with this one. The other... 
um, Twisby smoke rose gold that I filled up was um, this one with Dominant Industry Sunset and it has a ton of sparkle in it. But again, um, it seems dry and even though this is really super, a, a bigger nib, I'm still struggling with writing with it. It feels like a very dry ink. Um, in my Diplomat Traveler, I have Urban's Violet Pense. Pense? I don't know how to pronounce that. And it's a very wet ink, but it doesn't have a lot of shading in it. So, And the last one that I have inked for... Um, February, March is Monteverdi's Rose Noir in uh, Faber-Castell Grip. I love this pen. <laughs> These do not get enough love here. I, I I don't know. Writing with this nib, it's super juicy. And the only thing is I have to, I had three of them, but I lost the gray one for the, like the third time. I'm not even looking for it anymore. Um, but I have it in black and white. Uh, black I just keep inked with um, black ink and the white this is the only problem with it this stains and I've tried a thousand things to get that clean it doesn't matter it stains again next time you use it I've gotten used to it it doesn't bother me it may bother some people it's not a make or break because this is literally like a great everyday um pen for me and then I'm also using a jelly roll uh, in metallic because it's just fun to write with that and I will show you in here if I can find it how metallic it is it's really pretty can you see the metallic shimmer on that jelly roll Love that. So, and a purple highlighter in here. But at this point now, we're at the end of March. I'm really tired of purple. <laughs> I want to clean these pens out, be done with it, have one more week, and then, um, yeah, going to start over with something, something else. And then for March, I did a few greens. Uh, my Esterbrook, my Esterbrook Este is filled with. Um, oh no, it's, did I change this? Oh no, this is my vintage Esterbrook. This was for St. Patrick's Day. Nope, that's not it. Where is it? Here it is, it's in my little pouch. That's my vintage Esterbrook, and I did the Quebeco Sport. And that's Vinta Carnival, very light, uh, medium. It's an okay ink. And Pelican Dark Green, I love this. It's not as black green as like Robert Oster's Velvet Storm. This has a, a little bit more red sheen to it, um, but still very, very pretty. And pretty dark green but not like that black green you know how you have like blue black uh, Robert Oster has a really great I love the Robert Oster ink uh, so my Esterbrook is filled with uh, Roar and Klinger Alt Gold Groom this was a sample that I got from my friend Gail she also gave me these other samples that I tried and used they were a lot of fun and then I bought a bottle of Birmingham inks petrified wood on a whim and I had it in a I just tested it in the kakamori nib and I it was very dry and I was getting very annoyed that I had purchased this whole bottle and I wasn't happy with it and then I switched from the kakamori nib and I put it in my twisby eco jade and it writes so much better very, uh, very nice flow. So I'll show you some of these inks at work. And you can see what I'm talking about with the colors. Um, 
So this is, yeah, this is all of my purples. I logged, oops, where did I, oh, I put in the front of the book all the pens that I was using. So I would, you know, would remember if I looked at any of the, um, any of the writings, if I wanted to see which ink that was. So this was fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump to the back pages of the um, Sweet Freckled design and do some testing back here just so you can see some of these colors. And this is gonna keep flapping. So we will start with the reds. Let's pray this pen doesn't make a liar out of me right now. Nope. I have this in. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's just for my own reference, so I know. Look at the difference between the medium nib in the Twisby Eco and the Caveco Sport. This broad doesn't write as um, broad as um, some of my other pens, like my Bennu's are a thicker, a broader line. Uh, what color did I say was in here? Oh, Monteverdi, right. with my red inks. And again, I'll show you the ink swatches so you can the Robert Oster Blood Rose, the Colorverse Red Rock, and Monteverdi Valentine Red. It's so pretty. It has like a greenish gold sheen to it. Really pretty. <clears throat> okay, so on to the purples.
right? It's not writing as dry as it has been feeling. Maybe I've been pushing too hard, trying to get more color, more saturation on the page. I don't know. Okay, and this was, um, this was the Dominant Industry ink. And then this ink has some silver shimmer in it. is maybe it was because I was writing on this paper the oasis now that I'm thinking about it I've been writing on the oasis notebook and the drier these inks have felt drier on this paper but not my other two purple inks hmm that's very interesting but on here they feel on the Tomoe River paper they feel smoother it was a lot easier to write with. It's like there was some drag on here. Let me test my theory again. Yes, it's definitely, I felt it right away. It's harder to write on this paper with these inks for whatever reason. It doesn't like it. I mean, I could, obviously I'm doing it, but I could feel some drag. That's very interesting. I think Gail had said something like that once before about the combination of inks on certain papers. I don't know if it's not as hard on this paper. Uh, this ink works a little bit better. This one, very frustrated, a little frustrated. All right, let's not be that dramatic. It's not that difficult, but I, you know, you can sense the difference, and it just, you know, makes for a better or worse writing experience. That's all. Um, this is the Diplomat. Very nice, very wet, but no shading. But I bought that, I bought this ink because it was one of the first pen shows I went to. And I got, I don't know, it was just really pretty. Um, but you know, it doesn't, there's not a lot of shading or anything with it. Uh, this is my, oop, okay, yeah. Why is this one giving me a hard time today? Hold on, let me make sure I'm not empty here. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get a little down. Okay, I wrote this one dry. So, I can't really show you what that's going to look like. Uh, the last one I will show you is the Birmingham Pens petrified wood ink. So this is my, oops. Yeah, 
It's such an interesting color. It's like a earthy, pinky with a little green in the backdrop. Like a, almost a sepia colored base. I don't know. What size nib is it? This is a broad. swatch. You can see a lot of the pink tone in there. It's pretty. So anyway, this is everything I had. No, I didn't even show you the greens. Oh my gosh, there's more. getting everything. Okay. So these were my greens. What did I have? Oh, this was the pelican. Sorry, talking to myself in my head. Just carry on without me. I love this little pen. I always wonder where it traveled, what it wrote about. This is not the, um, obviously not the uh, original nib. I had this replaced with a steel nib from, um, where did I get this from? Tim's Vintage Pens? Is it Tim or Tom? I don't know. What the link below. It's a nice medium, medium sized writer. Vinta always has two names for their pens, uh, for their inks. They name it one, I don't know why they do it. It's very confusing. I love this combination. Okay. Oh, this is every, all right, I was a little, how many did I say before? 15 now. Oh, this one too. I got my reds, my purple. Wait, where's my other purple? My purples and my greens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11. Okay, that is a lot. Like I said, I'm usually only three. I max out at 
at three, maybe four pens. But so I got a lot of writing and catching up to do. <laughs> anyway, that's what's currently inked. And I will see you guys again soon. Hopefully. Take care. Bye.